Hello there. A quick video here. I just want to demonstrate a method for kind of engaging multiple targets with Maverick missiles in a single pass. Because uh, what I've set up here boop, is some main battle tanks in a group here. But they're also guarded by AAA, SAMs, and infantry SAMs. Um, basically there's a whole bunch of stuff down there and I don't actually want to get close enough like for a bomb drop or something uh, to put myself in danger so the best answer here is AGM-65D, the Maverick missile. Since I can fire this weapon off from a standoff range it'll keep me out of harm's way. But if you've ever used a Maverick it's usually kind of hard to uh, acquire you know more than one missile in a pass. Uh, each one takes a little bit of effort, you gotta move the targeting pot around or try to find them on the tiny little Maverick head. Uh, so this is something I've done that makes the attack process a lot easier for me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna scout with my targeting pot here and I'll find some target that I wanna light up and what I'm gonna do is the TMS right short and boop, there he goes. The only way you will know if you actually did this is you'll see it says mark point alpha down there on the CDU and you can see if I go to the next guy and boop now there's mark point bravo what I'm doing by pressing TMS right short each time is I'm creating a mark point just another type of waypoint being put in the GPS uh, so that I can recall that spot in the world for later reference I'm just trying to center it on the guys like I would want for a, a kill shot with the Maverick, you know, center mass of the heat as best as I can. Up to Echo, that sounds right. Foxtrot looks good. Alright, so I've created six mark points now. And you'll see my current waypoint is still one. If I switch my steer point knob here to mark, now it says mark point A, and essentially I've got six waypoints down there in the world. Well, targeting pod is soy and I do a China hat aft long slaves the targeting pod to the current waypoint and so you can see as I change the different mark points on my HUD by using the DMS up or down I am moving the targeting pod and snapping it to those guys location if I were to just attack one and then do a reattack then once he blew up the rest of the guys would go evasive they wouldn't be at these positions anymore so that would be uh, make it a lot harder for me to attack them all individually I'm going to start prepping for my attack where I'm going to shoot all six missiles at all six targets at once. Uh, and this is usually what I'll do. Put the targeting pod over here. TMS up long. So I'm marking that as my speed. And then if I take the Maverick screen and I do a China hat forward long, I'm slaving it to my speed. And I'm going to do a, do a China hat forward short as well to zoom it in a little bit. Now all I have to do after firing a missile is switch waypoints and re-slave the new Maverick to the targeting pod, to my SPI, with the China hat forward long, and reacquire the target. So right now, we are at 8.6, and I'm doing the TMS up short, just repeatedly, trying to get a lock. Usually 8 miles, outside 8 miles is still pretty difficult. There it goes, so right inside 8 miles we got a lock. So I'm going to fire, make the HUD soy, DMS up short, Maverick head as soy, China hat forward long, China hat forward short, TMS up short to lock and fire. Rinse, repeat, slave it, zoom it, lock, fire. Waypoint, Maverick slaved, zoom, lock, and not getting a lock on that guy. There it is. Fire. Reacquired. And slave zoom lock fire. Slave zoom lock fire. And I'm peeling off. You can see I'm only at 5.1 slant from all those targets now. So I'm pretty well outside of range of those short range SAMs. I'm not getting lit up by AAA.
That is a rather tricky series of events to do. It did take me many, many, many times of, of repetition of attempting this before I was able to do that very proficiently. So um, hopefully the video gives you the idea of kind of how to do it, and then you just have to practice it, and uh, hopefully then you'll be able to do the same thing. Thanks for watching.